Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sports Fall Podcast. Jersey Joe Arcino back here and Cam Newton is as good as it comes physically, athletically. He's one of the best that I've ever seen, but I've always kind of worried about Cam when the going gets tough. And I'm not a Cam Newton hater by any means. I've always really moraled at him. I mean, I've been watching him. I watched every single game he played at Auburn. I always thought there's no question this guy's going to succeed in the NFL. But in the NFL, you look at him, and his position is a big boy position, and you have to handle yourself a certain way. And I think sometimes, look, sometimes some of the some of the antics are overblown a little bit by Cam. But there are sometimes I feel like you would kind of like to see him settle it down a little bit and just kind of focus on playing and, and not celebrating as much. But at the end of the day, that's not the biggest concern. I still think you look at this game yesterday. Obviously, the big NFC Divisional playoff happened the other day. The Panthers beating the Seahawks 31-24, shutting them out in the first half, winning that game 31 nothing at halftime. But then they come out of that out of that game after halftime, and the Seahawks get the ball to start things off. And I think you start to kind of see what separates a Cam Newton from a Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson did not have his best game by any means. It was a rough day for him. But at the end of the day, Russell Wilson never panicked. Russell Wilson, when his team was down 31 nothing at halftime, came out and played as hard as he could. No complaints from him, no pouting, no getting down, no nothing, no nonsense. Just go out there, play, do his job, put his team, try to put his team in position to win. And look, they almost made a very impressive comeback. They took a little bit too much time on their drives at the end of the game. But at the end of the day, I like a Russell Wilson. I like cool, calm, collected. Even when you're not playing your best, you still don't give up. You don't hang your head. You keep on battling with your team. And we saw Cam start to get a little bit rattled. The Panthers were shut out in the second half of that football game. There was a moment where the, one of the Fox sideline uh, sound of systems picked up Cam uh, using a uh, verbal obscenity, kind of panic, rattled, and that is why I worry about Cam Newton. Still, I worry about Cam Newton in the big spots like that. I mean, these Knicks, to he's never been. In the, at the point where he's about to be at in the NFC Championship game and then they have every chance to get to that Super Bowl and again I think Cam possesses the rare abilities in the athleticism we've never seen a player like a Cam Newton we've seen guys like Randall Cunningham and Michael Vick who are very athletic have great speed can throw the football but I don't think we've ever seen anybody with the football IQ of a Cam Newton who throws the ball as accurately as Cam Newton and can be so deadly with his legs as a Cam Newton. Michael Vick could never read an NFL defense. Randall Cunningham had his faults as well. Both great players, but Cam Newton stands alone where he is from an athletic standpoint and from playing the position standpoint. He reads the game so well. He makes the best throws. He really does everything, but again, that stuff means a lot, but I take it with the next level with a guy like a Russell Wilson. You don't worry about stuff like his composure with a guy like a Russell Wilson. And again, I, I still think I want I, I wanted to dismiss it, but you just can't. I mean, I think the maturity still has to come into question now. This game against Arizona will not, I don't think, will be the toughest task. Again, I think in the NFL playoffs, the best quarterback is going to win these games 90% of the time. Carson Palmer did not play well at all in their win against the Green Bay Packers. And if I, if I have to take Cam Newton over uh, Carson Palmer, I'm going to do that most of the time. But again, I, I think there's still some concerns there with Cam's with Cam's poise, his his composure when the going gets tough and. Again, I think that's something you would have started to like to see go away. But again, this is an uncharted territory for him so far. He has never been in a spot like this. It's reasonable to see why he would get a little bit rattled. But again, based on everything that we've seen from Cam Newton so far play out throughout his career, I do think that there's a little bit of cause for concern when it comes to that. But if he just, I mean, there's a lot of people who are not Cam Newton fans. And at the end of the day, 
sometimes you could see it because he does celebrate a lot. He does he does do a lot of things after the whistle. I think if he just went out there and played and just didn't do all that other stuff, a lot more people would come around to it because this is such, like I keep on reiterating, this is such a transcendent talent, one of the most dynamic players that we'll ever see. But it just, there's so many other things, and I think some people think it's arrogance, and maybe it is a little bit. Everybody's got a little bit of, of an ego, but when the when you can't really show that same thing, and you can't really collect yourself when the going gets tough, that's harder to take for me, but Cam Newton is as good as it gets. We will see how it plays out, but again, I, I definitely would like to see that composure kind of pull back a little bit. I really think that that moment in the game that he got a little bit rattled and if the Seahawks were able to pull off that win yesterday then we would definitely be having a totally different conversation and I think certainly it would be what separates a Cam Newton from a Russell Wilson and at the end of the day I think it, it's that maturity it's that p composure when the going gets tough but Cam is great he really is there's no other way around it not a Cam Newton hater by any means but I think it's it's certainly an interesting conversation to have but that is going to do it for this podcast Jersey Joe Archino here you can follow me on Twitter at Joe Archino on Instagram Jersey underscore Joe underscore Archino and we will be back next time. 